Today in Bloons TD6, we are gonna be using the top secret cave monkey. Okay, he's not a secret, but I just found out about him. Hey guys, welcome back to Bloons TD6. Today we are gonna be playing on Frozen Over. The funny thing about this level, guys, is I didn't even notice this guy right here. Look at that, it's a cave monkey. And you can actually break this guy out and use him in the game. Now, I got some bad news. This is only just bad news for myself because uh, I've already beaten this level on hard. I don't really want to do it again on hard, so I'm going to be doing alternate balloons rounds. I have actually completed impoppable, impoppable and chimps. Not on this one, but on another level. I'm going to show you that real quick, okay? Just for bragging rights. It's an intermediate stage, moon landing. I just like the stage a lot, okay? So I've, I've beaten it in standard, alternate balloons, impoppable, and chimps. Chimps being obviously the ultimate way to complete a level because everyone's on the same playing field. You don't get any power-ups, any special anything. You just get in there and you either win or you die. So anyway, guys, I just wanted to try this out because I thought it was pretty cool that there's uh, an unlockable monkey that you can use in Frozen Over. And I just thought it was hilarious that I didn't even notice the guy was there. You know, like, damn, I was too busy looking at everything else. Look at him, he's just down there. Well, first of all, since we're on uh, alternate balloons rounds, it's gonna be a little bit tougher. It's funny, if you put on the uh, if you put on the game hints, I got them on here, it actually says like, do you know what this is? It's just balloons, but harder. <laughs> so, what we gotta do here, guys, is we need to break this guy. He blinks, doesn't he? He totally blinked at me. I'm waiting for it. There he goes! Okay, so he's very much alive in there, guys. I've got Pat Futsy with me because Pat, I feel like he goes well with the caveman because he's kind of like a caveman himself, cave monkey, of course, what I mean. And I wonder, do monkeys talk about cave monkeys the way humans talk about caveman? Like, aha, ooga booga. Uh, probably. He's probably like a really dumb monkey or something. That's offensive to cave people. They were good. They, they were the best in their time, right? One like equals one respect for cave monkeys and cavemen. Thank you. All right, I'm a little bit worried, guys, because, like I said, these, this is a little more, little bit, a little bit trickier. But of course, if I use a power, it'll be just fine. I don't have any cash drops. Let me get a cash drop, bro. Give me that. Two hundred bucks? Ah! You can't put cash drops down until you start the level. So I think I'm probably gonna put this down first and uh, just do that. Is it gonna be enough? I don't really know. But then we can just go ahead and start. Drop the cash. Boop. Hey, and now we got lots of cash, guys, which we're gonna need. So we're gonna put down the mortar monkey. I'm just gonna put him down here because we'll probably just put a bunch of monkeys around this area and maybe he can use a village or something. Alternate balloons rounds, dot, dot, dot. So we gotta put him over here. And apparently we just gotta, we just gotta bang on that a bunch of times. Apparently it's uh, 10 times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh my God. Wait a minute, that wasn't, he didn't He didn't break out yet. And also wait a minute because we got balloons getting through. Let's just put it, put another tax shooter right there, huh? Bad idea probably. Probably should put better monkeys or, or monkeys in general down. Whatever, man. We're just, we're, it's gonna be fine. Okay, we got powers, we won't lose. Keep hammering on that bad boy. Open up, oh, it's getting close. Okay, so apparently it was more than 10 times, guys. Oh no, there's the freaking camo. Well, we'll, we'll, we'll get rid of this camo with the uh, with the things on the end, all right? And then we'll then we'll worry about the rest. I kind of want to just mess around and do weird stuff today. Pat, can you help me out, bro? You go like, you want to, oh, there he is. Do a thing. He can't do a thing, guys. He can't oh, see. Ready, all right. This guy's weird. He reminds me of Patrick from SpongeBob. Okay, so the cave monkey is here in our uh, main area where we're gonna be we're gonna be doing stuff. So that's nice. Way to go, cave monkey. Look at the little spot they left over here. Isn't that amazing, guys? This is the best. So this guy is actually, um, I believe he's good against Moabs. So what we're gonna do is we're not gonna focus Moabs. What we're gonna do is we're just gonna wait till round 40 and we'll see if this guy can help us out. Probably, uh, probably risky, but it could be fun. And you know what else I'm gonna do, guys? Because, you know, I'm gonna play this level kind of the way it's meant to be played. I'm gonna put this guy here. Look at that, look at all the room he's got here. This is beautiful. So I don't, I've never used Pat before, guys. I'm, I might have, I'm not sure. A huge monkey of enormous strength. His unique size and power is a great asset in the war on balloons. So he just does a slam attack. He'll get some sort of, yes! yes! He'll get some sort of uh, ability eventually. It's all good. That's it, beat that shit up, bro. Beat that shit up. You guys come over here. You're gonna get messed up. Oh crap, hold on a second. Crow's nest, we need the crow's nest. We're gonna lose. We're not gonna lose. I'm just gonna let it happen, guys. Whatever, 
Just get it, get out of here, balloons. You're gonna take away so many of my lives. Now that I have beaten Impoppable and Chimps, guys, I, uh, I'm obviously not having as hard of a time with hard mode. I really only had a hard time when I tried to do it with the, all the towers that I haven't really used at all ever. But I still won after a fail. I actually first heard about this monkey from one of Aliens Rock's videos where he, um, he was doing a challenge where basically the best way to beat the challenge is to actually use the cave monkey because you need to do something about the, uh, the Moab. And that's what got me thinking. Maybe we should just try this guy out on a Moab by himself. Sort of, you know, we're going to attack the Moab, but hoping that he can do a thing. You want some better stuff here, dude? You know you want it. You know you want it, bro. Whatever. I'm just going to put a sniper right here. Hang out with the boys. We'll give him some night vision so he can take out a camo lead in the future. You're doing very little over here, dude. Can I can I do something for you? You want to bust some balloons, bro? Yeah, that's what he wants to do. Go ahead and put one of these down. Give these guys some uh, some radius. You don't have radius? Really? He's so close to having to being in the radius of this thing. On level 40 here. So this is the Moab. Look at that. It's a friggin' reinforced Moab. Get the hell back there. Oh, he can hit it from there. Oh, well, good for you, dude. So that's nice. The same way like a sniper does a Moab meme, it's just very brief. But with, with Pat there too, everybody gets to have lots of fun right here at the beginning. We did this together, all of us. Even the cave monkey helped. Even though he's pretty much total trash for the most part, he was a good guy. And we're gonna blame the win today on this guy. How could we do it without him, you know? How could we? Guys, I feel like that one cast drop I put down just made this round too easy, you know? Now I'm just kind of like, well, I, I'm i not worried about winning or anything. I just wanted to see the caveman. I just, I'm just here to hang out with Monkey, you know? We can actually um apparently buff him as well. That was something that I wanted to try out, guys. Hold on a second. I'm pretty sure you can give him a Berserker Brew. I want to say he can solo a bad balloon by himself. But that sounds a little bit crazy, doesn't it? It doesn't stun bads, but it stuns Moab class balloons. Oh, okay, he can solo a ZOMG, he cannot solo a bad. That's a big difference between a ZOMG and a bad. But yeah, we should we should try and buff him. So in that case, let's get an alchemist down here. I'm, I'm assuming this this tower could do something for him too, right? I, should I just get rid of this? I think I'm gonna get, mm, you know what? I don't think that, the, that this will fit here, will it? Oh, it will. Okay, well that's what we'll do. We'll get rid of this one. Whatever if we lose some money, we threw down money at the beginning, so I'm not really hurting for it. I wanna buff this guy. So let's go. Berserker Stronger Stimulant. I don't know if I'd be able to afford a perma brew here, but that's okay. What, can I, what else can we do? Anything? Mm, not really. Oh, wait, 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 wait. This one right here also strengthens brews and stimulants. So we'll just go ahead and uh, get that. And we can hopefully buff this guy a little bit. Right? He's feeling good. Here comes another one, guys. And he's buffed. I don't know how I don't know how much that's affecting him, but if we get this as well, get the jungle drums going on him. And let him hit camo too, why not? Man, this like pushback here from Pat is so good. We wanna keep the action at the beginning. Oh, not a BFB. Beat that shit up, dude. And it goes so slow that this guy can get a lot of hits on it too. Everybody got in on that. It was wonderful. Show him who's boss, Cave Monkey. Yeah, we got this. We got this, dude. Okay, you know what? We're going full on MIB here, guys. Ultimate popping knowledge for everybody surrounding this thing. I think I want bouncing bullets, guys. Because I gave this guy camo earlier. But I didn't really need to because now he has camo from this thing. Does he? He does. So, now I feel like I need to do something with that pad. So, I live my life for you, Cave Monkey. You are my true love. Boop, 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 boop. Well, this is round 60, but we're not getting a... Oh, no, the ZOMG is round 80, isn't it? Keep forgetting, man. Oh, it's actually getting kind of tricky here, guys. Got a little bit closer to the middle then. Wow. So, guys, after we beat this, I want to show you something really cool. Okay? I'm going to show you something really cool. But well, we got we to gotta make it past round 80 first. It involves the cave monkey. Let's just put it that way. Squeeze it! Oh, wait. You got to get a little closer. Squeeze it! That's hilarious, man. Absolutely destroying BF. Oh! Oh, my God! Oh! Oh, uh, you did, you saw nothing. I was way too busy looking at Pat over here. We're continuing, Pat. Sorry about that, uh, Pat. What next? What next? Try not losing. Aircraft carrier. There we go. We good. We good now, folks. Spent a lot of money on this level today, guys. Not because I had to, but because I wanted to. So don't start thinking that I'm bad or something. In fact, I'm amazing for doing that for you. And that's why you smash the like button, bro. Squeeze it. So I guess the answer to the question earlier, guys, was not that many levels. You can't get through that many levels before uh, before you're toast. 
You know what? We don't want that to ever happen again, guys. So let's go ahead and put this guy here. All right, let's just, uh, yeah, we might have to perma spike that just in case. I don't think there's anything that we'll have a problem with before round 80 at this point, guys. And if we, if we get into shenanigans, I think the spike factory will do its job. But I do want to, I do want to do the perma spike. So perma spike's gonna have to be our like last resort. It's getting intense. They're ripping through my spikes, bro. Don't rip through my spikes. I paid good money for those spikes, man. You're making me go crazy on my tax shooter. Maybe I'll sell this so that I can afford the perma spike after. I mean, don't we want to have it at least like a round, a round or two before so they can actually get out there? No point in having a perma spike like one round before the end. That's not gonna do much. Okay, ring of fire doing its job. Because <laughs> obviously taking out the, uh, oh, the next round's a real stinker. Why? What do you mean? What, do you, what, what, what stinks? I don't smell nothing, bro. I don't smell nothing. Of course they're sending out crazy amounts of camo, guys. Just how it's gonna be. It is round 79 after all. So I get it. I love these little little airplanes, guys. They're quite nice. The ZOMG is here? Squeeze it to death. Ha <laughs> ha! Okay, you guys, can you? Yep. Yeah, there you go. Ring of Fire will take care of you. All right. I was getting worried there for a second, guys. I thought maybe they were gonna take out my perma spikes. We can't have that. So here's a second ZOMG. Here's what I'm not doing this time. I'm not hugging it to death. We want, we want to just bonk it a lot with the cave monkey. Come on, cave monkey. Slow and steady wins the race, cave monkey. You know all about that, right, dude? You've been waiting a very long time for this moment. There's two ZOMGs. This is perfect. He gets double the fun. You are welcome, friend. Speed that up. And then suddenly he's got to boop the other one instead. Boop, 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 boop. I'm not doing any, any abilities. Any anything, guys. The perma spikes will take care of any stragglers, if there even are any, right? Right, Cave Monkey? Even though I sold towers, I did all kinds of really dumb shit, it's all good. Can somebody please hit my perma spike, man? Come on! Okay, great. Now, guys, I want to show you something really cool. I got my hands on the free cam mod. It's not really totally a free cam, but I thought we might want to take a look at the uh, Cave Monkey with it, so. I'll be right back. Cause the free cam mod kind of messes up the game when you're trying to play normally. Just saying. All right, here we go again, folks. Obviously we should go back here cause it's the only place we can do it. But can we do it in sandbox? Will that work? I'm not really sure if it will. See guys, the camera angles are looking weird already. Look at that, we can zoom out now. Isn't that amazing? You can zoom out in this game? Oh my God. You can even zoom in. Down we go. Whoa, and you can spin around. And if you really know what you're doing and you remember what the buttons are, and I don't, you can also tilt your camera. Here we go. Oh yeah. Look at this dude over here. It's very hard to control this camera, guys. The cave monkey himself is not 3D until he leaves. What's it gonna look like though? I'm trying to get an angle in here. Let's take a look in here. Oh, we're trying to speed this up, man. Come on. Oh, he's out. I kind of missed him. Where did he go? There he is! Look at this guy, man. Look at him down here. Look at him. He's beautiful. I mean, I think all the monkeys are beautiful when you have this mod on, guys. Like, it's really friggin' cool. Look. It's 3D balloons, man! I know the game is 3D anyway, but geez Louise. I just think that's so awesome. Um, you're gonna see some thumbnails with this in it, obviously, and you're gonna see the, um, the stream I do before this video goes up. So a little bit confusing, but uh, I plan on using it to, to make a funny stream title. But look at that, guys. Isn't that amazing? So we got our we got our dude over here, just standing up. Cave Monkey, do you want something to do? Here, let me uh, give you some of these guys. Now, the balloons do look weird, guys, as you can see when you have this mod on, because the balloons are T, TD, not TD, 2D. I say TD. It's because I'm playing Bloom CD. Um, but the but the Moabs, I'm pretty sure, are completely 3D. What? You can't see them at all? Oh, hang on. Oh, they're really high up in the air. Oh, that's so weird. What the hell? So one more thing I want to look at, guys. I want to put in uh, I want to put in Pat, and I want to give him his ability. Grab one of those. Grab it. Grab it, bro. Are you too far away now? Oh, we can't grab that one because it's uh, special. Hold on. Oh, we got it all messed up now, folks. Why did they put the controls on the damn space bar, man? I'll give you some Moabs. Here comes the there it is. Look at that. Okay, so he can he can do that, guys. Again, I can't really control this mod that well, 
But look over here. I'm gonna send him. I'm gonna send him some of these guys. Look at that! Isn't that great? Anyway, guys, that is the um, the the camera free cam mod, camera angle mod, whatever you want to call it. Very cool stuff, man. Very cool stuff. If you guys want to see anything on this mod, let me know. I don't want to go too in depth here because this is just the end of the video, and I just I couldn't wait to share that with you, man. That's it for this video, guys. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you next time. Goodbye.